And they sprinting from the 1200 meter marker. Not a bad start for them. The first one to go is Resurgent Statesman racing up there in second. Colonel Green's third. Then we drop a length back there to Tornado King along the inside in the green sleeves and cap. Then came Princess Vritti, Pantador's outside of runners. Along the rail is Mafia Bags the Money and at the back end of the field is Carved in Stone. They covered by around 12 lengths as they make their way down the side of the track heading towards the 700 and Statesman on the outside has picked it up a half a length. Along the inside is Resurgence in second, then Colonel Green third, then there's a break of about seven back to Tornado King. Further back in the field is Princess Vritti, Pantador further back, Mafia Bags the Money and Carved in Stones a long way back. Coming into the home straight now and Resurgence picked it up again and gone three lengths clear of Statesman in second. Then came Colonel Green is trying to run on and further back is Tornado King past the 200. Resurgence has drifted to the inside of the track but still holds a four length advantage over Statesman. Then came Colonel Green beyond that but Resurgence is going strongly in the closing stage and will win it. Won it by five. Second place to Statesman. Then came Colonel Green. Princess Vritti was further back. Yes, you heard on replay, Resurgence has drifted to the inside of the track at the moment. That's your left-hand side under Smunga Kumalo. And will go on strongly from Statesman and Colonel Green up the outside. And, uh, yeah, Resurgence was given a breather at about the 600-meter mark as Statesman picked it up, went about a half a length clear, and then Resurgence at the top of the straight regained the advantage and went clear to win it. One six two eight, the first four across the line. Very well done to the Kelly Mitchley Yard, finding the winner's box here with resurgence. Manga Kamala steering him to victory, and he's won a good race this afternoon, getting the pick six underway, and what a lovely pool it is. So really looking forward to the rest of it. I'm sure you would have had this fellow in. Got to say very well done to the groom of resurgence, and that is welcome. He's going to appreciate 1,500 rand, and he will be giving that courtesy of world sports betting. So very well done to him. Thanks very much. And uh, Smung is coming on through to have a chat about this fellow. He's a gelding by gold standard. And he's gotten it right on the second time of asking locally. And Smunga stepped out the first time. He had struck her board in the maiden work riders. It was a little bit sharp for him. But uh, he's a horse that's got a lot of pace. And you've used it well today. Yes, uh, obviously he came out uh, running and uh, I just remember his uh, uh, last run obviously on the grass and uh, he was right up there. He only had, uh, uh, had enough for the last uh, uh, 150 mm -hmm. and obviously uh, uh, sometimes they do need it and uh, they're coming from it. Uh, today a poly track uh, and it wasn't a, a top of field to say that uh, he, he won't be able to be in front. Uh, came out well, uh, held them up together, had a challenger uh, quite early and uh, uh, he didn't want to let down so he fought on gamely and uh, you know he's, he's got his uh, um, uh, uh, on and off you know yeah. now he's, he hangs on to the fence and I thought you know what as long as you're going forward uh, exactly. we're going yeah. to carry on and just uh, uh, stay him you know, to the line and uh, he won quite convincingly today he obviously put in the right races can use the pace of in a thousand so but I'll leave that to Kelly and uh, and Carl. So yeah, big thanks to them, and uh, they were quite confident. Obviously, I don't know the horse very very well, and uh, they said, "Listen, it's your, this is their best for the yard." So big well done for them to them, and uh, uh, this one to Lynn, uh, her first winner in PE. So big oh, well done. Wonderful. Yeah, <laughs> uh, so she was screaming. So uh, just uh, very happy that uh, she could get. Uh, uh, obviously, we can get these colours over the line and uh, make a lot of people uh, happy. So yeah, and to the guys, you know. Obviously, with the rain and everything, you know, they stuck out and uh, they did the hard work. And, uh, you know, they're very happy that we're racing today. So we're just going to carry on pushing through. And to my sponsors, Maurice Fontaine, Vokobos Drift, well done today. And uh, again, to Blink fans, whoop, whoop. 
Yep, there you go, that familiar call. The fans are always really ecstatic to hear it, and it's uttered on course for the first time today, but with a good few races ahead, I'm sure it won't be the last. And Kelly, very well done. Um, this fellow, yeah, he's gone against all your rules of second run after race, and there, there are things to worry about. But, I mean, it was a lengthy race he raced off. He's come to course very well this afternoon. Well done. Yes, no, unfortunately last time he was scratched for the TCO2 and we thought he was quite fit and well last time out. So we did go after that one after he was scratched, gave him a gallop the Saturday to try and get the second run out of the rest, yeah. try and get it out the way. So we weren't too sure if he was going to take it or not take it today because he's a very uptight, uptight horse. And he's like got a displaced palate and he's had a knee operation. He's come oh my gosh. <laughs> the world of issues, but <laughs> we've sorted them out and he's doing well and he won a very good race. And just want to say huge congratulations to Lynn, massive supporter in our stable and it's her first winner in her silk. So very exciting and just hope many more to come for her. And yeah, I just want to say thank you to, to the team, Tandile and Julius and to Carl and for Carl putting him in this race <laughs> and, getting, and the whole team getting him ready and for today yeah. and just want to say a huge thank you to my sponsors Betway Brilliant. Now step on over and let Mar Marilyn come in with the extra cherry on the cake. And that is 15,000 Rand from the Racehorse Owners Association member, which I'm sure Lynn will be extremely happy about. Yes. And uh, something else to smile about, Marilyn. Thanks oh, so much. No, she only signed up a few weeks ago. I told her you've got to sign up Quick for resurgence. Quick return on the money, yeah. <laughs> I said you have to sign up for resurgence because I said he's going to win very soon. Yeah. And her other horse actually related, uh, related to Velvet Valor, they brothers. Okay. And then we got the other brother on the farm. So we've actually got the whole family. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's fantastic. That's quite exciting. Well, very well done for this fellow. And uh, yeah, nice to hear behind the scenes how the plans work, for example, trying to get the second run <laughs> After the layoff under control, it appears to have worked. Well done. Thank you so much. Very, very well done to Lynn Vivius. And uh, that is, of course, of the Horseland Breeding and Racing. Congratulations for your first winner here in the Eastern Cape. And uh, Resurgence has really done you proud. Some nice teamwork, as you can hear, behind the scenes for Resurgence has resulted in a good win. And uh, really super that you get the extra payout from the Racehorse Owners Association of 15,000 Rand.